So how are we all doing today? Welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Scott, I'm an artist based in Melbourne, Australia. This is actually the first time I've ever recorded audio and video together and hearing my own voice is very confronting. So bear with me, we'll press on and hopefully it sounds not too bad. So watercolour painting is my jam. I love it so much because it can be so soft and subtle or vibrant and strong. All words that actually describe me pretty well too. It just suits me and my style of painting. Today we're going to go through the process of my painting A Moon's Rhythm. I'll let it play out and I'll give you my thoughts along the way. So here I'm masking everything up so the background layer doesn't seep into the parts where I don't want it to. Also using masking fluid here in all the cracks so it protects the whole entire painting just in case the tape isn't strong enough. Here I'm just mixing these paints in these little dishes to get prepared for the background wash. Two at the front will mainly be the light colours and then the two at the back will be the darker colours. I like to have everything prepared before I go into doing the wash because that is the most stressful part for me. Starting at the bottom with the pink, I slowly make my way towards the middle creating a gradient where it's more transparent towards the centre. Then I do the same thing with the purple at the top and when the two colours meet they should, in quotation marks, blend together nicely. Here I wanted to create a cloudy separation between my two colours, so I went in with my dark colours and started applying some shadows. Being sure not to let the paint sit too long, I got a brush with clean water and pulled the paint outwards to create a smooth blending cloudy effect. And here's the peel pawn. The big question is, was I successful in my masking job? To my surprise, everything actually came out pretty well. The masking did its job. Now the fun part, painting the skin. I start by going over all the areas where the skin would be with a base colour, which will give me a reference for all my other colours to work off. darker tones with a wet on dry technique then pulling the paint to create a smooth gradient. If you notice on the hairline I've added some masking fluid, I just want to prevent the colour of the skin from bleeding out onto that because in the end I want her hair to be white and the less mistakes I make here the cleaner it will be.
yes, it's coloured pencil time. While it is a watercolour painting, I don't like to limit myself to just that. If I can use another medium to help me get the desired effect I'm looking for, then I'm all for it. I think she's looking pretty nice so far. This is Odin. Here I'm mixing some cadmium red deep to very carefully paint in the background behind my girl. very little water to the mix because I want it to be as flat of a red as possible with no variation in consistency. So I set up my camera to record above my head and when I played back, I realized that my head was in the way the whole time. I was so focused, I completely forgot about the camera above me. So that's why there's only a little snippet here. But nonetheless, it was stressful. So for a torso, I wanted it to be all black. So this might seem like a random choice, but I decided to use black gesso for it. I've used it in the past and it gives me a flat, even matte finish I was looking for. So I love this gold paint. It's a brand from Germany called Clearo Watercolors. I actually would have liked to use gold leaf, but I didn't have any at the time, so this is the next best thing for me. Here I'm painting the moon in the background and the lines that connect her to the moon. I've been thinking a lot about universal frequencies and vibrations lately. How everything has its own unique wave, like how the moon has the power to control our tides, and how we resonate with nature and its energy, be it positive or negative. And I wanted to depict that in my painting. Some of the last details here. I added these big outline flowers to the background with the gold pen, but the gold pen didn't exactly match the gold watercolour. So after I drew the flowers with the pen, I went over it all again with the paint.
here we have it. She is done. This is actually quite a new style for me. Definitely a little more challenging than before, but I'm super happy with the result. She looks beautiful. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.